Today we'll make hologram ray FX. First, let's make hologram material. Add earth texture, and set blend mode as a masked and unlit mode. Give animation to earth texture with panner node. We will use texture UV and sign and time node to make stripe shape. To animate stripes, use time node. And control speed with multiply node. Make it saturate to make all values 0 1. Let's change as a add node. And now strips are animating well. Multiply with texture and put to opacity values. And use dither AA node to make transparent. Give 90 amount of stripes to make natural. Use Fresnel node to make edge glowing. And add vector node and it will be color. Multiply stripe nodes and color with Fresnel node. And then now it looks like this. Duplicate stripe nodes and multiply each other. This is to make more variation of stripes. With add node, give more opacity. With vertex normal WS node, multiply with the other textures, to give some vertex animation. This is whole node view. You can check it for follow it. Let's make ray material. Change blend mode as a masked and unlit mode. Create vector 3 node and change as a parameter. It is for color. With Fresnel node and multiply with color and put in emissive color. Change world position node values as a local position value using transform vector node. Divide node is for gradation of values. Create three vector values and change as a parameter. It will be ray start location. Subtract world position. And lerp with transformed location. Add texture node and put noise texture from engine content. Give animation with panner node. Put to lerp alpha value. Now ray have some noise. Organize some nodes. Give some more UV amounts to make noise better shape. Give opacity values to dither AA node. Now we will make blueprint to combine with hologram and ray. Add sphere mesh and increase size. And apply hologram material. Add sphere mesh and increase size. 
and apply ray material. Add sphere mesh and reduce size. It will be ray location. Go to event graph. Get ray locations location. And set vector values from material of ray sphere. Connect to event tick. In Ray Material, copy the name of this value to the blueprint. And then it is finished. Put blueprint to the viewport. Now Ray is following Ray Location Sphere. It is finished. Thanks for watching.